I was commissioned by uh, Ducks Unlimited to write a poem for their international convention in Calgary, Alberta they were having one time. And uh, I wrote this poem and I originally called it Pass Me a Quacker. But they didn't like Pass Me a Quacker so I said, well how about A Mallard's Tale? You know, A Mallard's Tale? And they said, that's the one. This here's a mallard's tale, a little stranger than most. For it's not about migrating and such, no, it's a little more verbose. You see, cowboys of all shapes and sizes love their horse, dog, and truck. But history will recall but one who loved a one-eyed duck. Curly Joe was a real top hand, adorned with mustache and scowl. He rode with the big ranches, accompanied by that waterfowl. There atop of his saddle horn, with just one eye, he had a knack of spotting strays in the willows and then telling Curly with a quack. In the bunkhouse late at night, the boys would laugh and tease. And it was the general consensus Curly's inflicted with a mental disease. For a cowboy to love a mallard so, his saddlebags must be only half full. To snuggle with this feathered friend, this man who's roped bear and bull. Finally, after years, one of the boys finally said, What the heck's wrong with you? We're tired of your squawking and bantering about ducks, man. Why don't you go and join DU? Well, he joined that prestigious organization, and he found folks that feel the same. Curly Joe the Cowboy and that one-eyed duck found feathered fame, along with the bumper sticker carefully placed upon his truck that simply read with cowboy pride, Lord love a duck. <laughs> That's a good one.